Hey guys, the new DLC Commander Lilith in the Fight for Sanctuary is now available for Borderlands 2 and it's free right now if you own Borderlands 2 or the Handsome Collection. In this DLC, they've added a new top tier loot called Effervescent and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the Effervescent rocket launcher called World Burn. This thing also has a secret hidden ability that I figured out today and I'll show you guys what that is. It's very useful. So the World Burn is an Effervescent rocket launcher and it's manufactured by Torg. It's always incendiary and the rockets fly in an arc and explode in a mushroom cloud like a nuke. This thing is a lot like the Nukem rocket launcher if you guys have ever used that. It has a red flavor text that says war does not compute. And just like most high tier weapons with red flavor text, they all have some kind of an ability and that's the clue to it. Well, this one does have one as well and that is the clue. I'll show you guys all of that. First, I want to show you guys where to get this launcher. So you need to complete all the storyline missions and get to the end where you fight Hector. And once you defeat him, a side mission will unlock called My Brittle Pony and you pick it up from a character called Vaughn in the back burner area. He'll send you to Helios Fallen where you meet Tiny Tina and help her to rescue Butt Stallion. Once rescued, you head back to back burner and turn it into Vaughn and right after that, the mission for the launcher will become available. You pick it up from Brick in the back burner area and it is called BFFFs. He wants you to go around and fight four lieutenants and pick up rifle parts so he can make a gift for Mordecai. The very first lieutenant on the list is Lieutenant Bolson. He's in the doll abandoned area and he's the one that drops the rocket launcher. So I did this mission on normal mode and I did not get the rocket launcher drop. At that time it hadn't been discovered so I just moved on to the next lieutenants and finished all the mission. Then the rocket launcher was discovered so I went back and played it on ultimate vault hunter mode and the first time I killed Lieutenant Bolson he dropped the launcher. So I haven't gotten to test like how hard it is to get this launcher when you go to farm him, but farming him is actually really easy. The spawn point is not too far away. So after I got the launcher, I wanted to check it out and see how good it is. And it's decent. It's really powerful. If you hit enemies dead on, it's gonna kill them. And it's really good for a fight for your life. The only issue is the arc of that rocket. It's kind of hard to judge where you're shooting and it makes it difficult because it's got such a short range. Don't get me wrong, it's really powerful. It's sheer damage and blast radius is enough to put most enemies down in a single shot. It's not great in the Hatterax boss fight. That arena is so huge and the short range of these rockets are not good in there. It was really difficult to hit Hatterax and again, you might just want to take it in there for a fight for your life situation. So it left me wondering what's so great about this launcher and what's this hidden ability that might be behind this red flavor text. Again, it reads, war does not compute. And I can't take any credit for figuring this part out. So shout out to K6. He was able to remember that this is a line from Tales from the Borderlands. There's a scene in the very beginning where a loader bot is spawned in and he says war does not compute. What is it good for? So I was thinking about that line and how it's connected to a loader bot. And I was thinking about the loader bots that exist in this DLC and how this launcher might be applicable to them. Then I started thinking about the other effervescent weapons and their abilities and those abilities are good for the boss fights and so I was like you know what we have a giant bot as one of the bosses called Uranus bot. What if this launcher is meant for this fight? Let me show you what I'm talking about with these boss fights. So for the Hatterax boss fight you can pick up a shield and an AR and they're effervescent high tier and they help you in the boss fight when they're equipped they give you super Super speed, which is really useful because that arena is huge. I don't show it here, but there's another effervescent item. It's a relic called mouthwash. When you equip that, it makes this AR more powerful. So this set of effervescent weaponry gives you extra ability in this boss fight, and that's what it's designed for. Then if you check out this set of effervescent gear, there's a relic of shield and an AR. And when they're all combined, they give you some extra abilities in the raid on Digistruct Peak. So as it stands, all of the effervescent new weaponry does something for the boss fights and that's their purpose and their special ability. So that's what put me into the Uranus bot fight with the launcher. It only makes sense given that red flavor text. 
and the fact that the effervescent weapons that we've found so far do other stuff and help the other boss fights and there's nothing to help you with this one yet. So my first thought was that the launcher was going to just absolutely wreck Uranus and you'll be able to kill him really easily with it. And the launcher does a pretty good job if you can get the rockets to hit him or land near him, but I didn't notice anything outstanding about it. In fact, I have other weapons that are comparable to the launcher that can kill him just as fast or even faster. So I went in a few times to kill him just to check it out to see if I'm missing anything and I noticed something about the loot that he was dropping. Now we already know that he drops an effervescent item. It's a grenade and it's called the electric chair. This is manufactured by Vladoff and it launches eight smaller range child Tesla grenades in an even distribution around the deployment point. And when the child grenades are first sent out, there's a shock explosion within the range of the Tesla. And I believe the way you maximize this grenade is to get that explosion to happen right underneath the enemy, almost like they're sitting on it like an electric chair. It's a very cool grenade to have and it's very dramatic, but the problem is Uranus bot doesn't drop it very frequently. My experience is that it's tough to get and I've heard other people say it's hard to get for them as well. When I first discovered Uranus bot, I wanted to farm him to see what all he would drop and I noticed, yeah, he dropped the electric chair, but hardly at all. I think I went in and farmed him 25 times and he only dropped it twice. I've heard from other people that they've had an even harder time trying to get this thing to drop. And when I went in on ultimate vault hunter mode, I couldn't get it from him at all. And I tried several times. Well, there seems to be a reason why it's so difficult to get from him. And that's because you need to have this launcher equipped and kill Uranus bot with it to get this grenade to drop. When I was messing around with Uranus and this launcher, I wasn't going for drops. I was just trying to see how well I could kill him. But because this grenade dropped so much, it became really obvious that this is what the launcher is for. It's really hard to say what the percentages of getting this grenade to drop without the launcher. My experience is that it's probably about a 5% or less drop rate and with the launcher it's about a 45 to 50% chance of this thing dropping. I'll put it to you this way. I farmed him and killed him with the launcher 15 times and out of those 15 times I got him to drop the grenade seven times which is almost half. And on on ultimate vault hunter mode I got it every other time I went in to kill him so that was like a 50% chance and before like I said I could never get it on that mode here's all the grenades I picked up so I got three in ultimate vault hunter mode and then four in the normal mode I haven't tried the true vault hunter mode yet but I'm sure the frequency would be the same and just to confirm it is the launcher creating this frequency I put the launcher away put it in the bank at sanctuary came back and farmed him a bunch more and I couldn't get the grenade to drop so at that point, I was totally sold on the idea that the secret ability of the launcher is to increase this grenade frequency. But I'm curious for people to try this, especially people that understand that it's difficult to get this. I want them to go in and try it again and see if they notice a difference like I did. It was pretty drastic. But I hope this helped you guys out and we'll see you next video.